vehicles. Uh, let's see. It's got a 15 round magazine. I'll tell you one thing, 15 rounds goes pretty fast, doesn't it? Yep. What you doing over here? Well, Jason and I are here with some new things we picked up at the show today and some things you had, right? Yeah. And uh looks like you might have a This is a, this is an M9. Uh so this is the the not the current service pistol, but this is the one that replaced uh the nineteen eleven A one in nineteen eighty five. So okay. Now we're we're replacing it this this firearm with a Sig P320. I'm sure slowly, but I'm sure anybody who served in the Army, uh, Marines, you know, in the you know 90s to current is is familiar with this firearm. So, yep. or it's very very popular in uh, you know in well the 92 FS or or this is the military version the M9. They're going to be familiar with it in movies. You know, you're like Lethal Weapon in the 80s. Like this was the the gun on, you know, the high capacity nine Wonder nine. Mm -hmm. So one of the biggest differences in the uh, ninety two FS and the M nine is you got this, you know, the two dot system here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. This one. This one's got a. This one's got a uh, steel guide rod in it. It's been upgraded with a steel guide rod. Fifteen round magazine. That's a little bit different, more European style, where you have the the safety that goes in the opposite direction. So it you, also has a decocker, right? It does have a decocker. Yep. So there you go. Down, which mm -hmm. is weird. So you flip it up for the safety to come off, which is completely opposite of what we kind of think of. Yeah. Yeah. But I like these brothers. You know, I've got one in the house. Uh, you, you actually, we actually did a video on it. Yeah, a long time ago. 1975, yeah. the CZ-75 versus It hasn't been the, that long. If, it was a while ago. 1975? No, this is when they came out. It was originally, <laughs> yeah. So here's the guide rod that came with it. Polymer. Right. Yeah. So it's cool. Yes, it is. I think got some got some wood grips coming for it. Yes. And, they, and these pistols feel real good. Yeah. yeah I, I really enjoy shooting them. Um, you know, what, did you get a new tattoo or something? <laughs> it's a gun, gun show tattoo. Is it, yeah, that's a gun show tattoo. Yeah. You know what would really look cool on that, maybe? Because these grips I found oh, yeah. at the gun show today. They would look cool, but I don't think they're, they're for uh, 92. Oh, they won't fit, you don't think? Look at that, Greg. Would that not look cool on that? Wow. It does look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's for 1911, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's that's for this. Well, that's not for this this one. But uh, I like these right here. What do you think, guys? Should Big Daddy switch out, or should he keep the ones he's got on there? Yeah, I like I like my Colt there. I'll yeah. put this on something else. All right. Yeah, maybe something that's black. Yeah, this is my uh, Sunday carry. Barbecue gun. Yeah, well, yeah. every day is barbecue gun for you. Right? Yeah, every day is barbecue. That's that's what I do for a living. But this is what I normally carry on Sunday, and it is a beautiful Colt, and it is forty-five series seventy. Series seventy. Very very nice. With some nice hollow point rounds. I don't know if that's critical fence or what. Um, it looks like uh, Hornady. That looks like um, Winchester. No. I bet you nickel. All right. How, about, looks like how Walmart. about five bucks? Walmart ammo. It's sick. We both lost. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it, you're mixing and matching. You got some ball ammo. Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right, but it's not Walmart ammo because we don't, we don't buy Walmart. We don't buy ammo. Walmart. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I didn't shop there anyway, and now I definitely won't shop there. No. Because of their political stance. I'm going to 
close to this one. We cock light ready to rock with it on safety. And going back in a holster, guys. All right, I'm I'm really uh, excited. Yeah, let's see if it works. Let's do it. All right. And what kind of, we're using some. Yeah, we're using free munitions. Okay. We got a bunch of that. It's, it's yep. good stuff. You know, 124 grain is the, we got some hollow point and we got some, uh, some regular ball. So let's yep. shoot it. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready, Jason? Yes, sir. All right. You got it, Greg? Yep. All right, first shots. Let's see what we got here. First one's obviously going to be double action. That's a good sounding target. Sweet. You can smell it. Yeah. One more time. I was riding the uh, slide release there. Dang. My Italian brothers. How do you like that? Yeah. They make a good one. That's fun. Yes, sir. You don't want to shoot, do you? Absolutely. Here you go. All right. Let's ring some steel. Got oh, that little yellow. Why? Close. All right, let's see what we got here. I like the way it feels. Not enough ammo. Here, I got What do you think? Yeah. You, got you some shot more? it pretty good. Here you go. <clears throat> I've got a reloader. How do you like that reloader, Greg? Yeah, yeah that's a good reloader. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now this will be a little better, I hope. Let's do it. You can hear that one, can you? All right, let's try this guy here. Shooting all around it, aren't they? Bullseye. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It's got a 15 round magazine. I'll tell you one thing 15 rounds goes pretty fast, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, speed loader. <laughs> Dancing all around it. There we go. There you go. It's hard to beat. Nice. Yeah, feels good in the hand. You know, yep. substantial, aluminum framed. Oh, it's a good filling pistol. It does. It feels good. Yep. You got a magazine? No, I got another one. Huh. <laughs> That's just for me riding the slide, my big fat thumb. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. You got one I more, just, don't you? I just have to have a just magazine here. And when those wood grips come in, that's going to look sharp. I like the grips that's on it. Come on now. 
Yeah. Gotta have, you got to have some wood grips on there. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to try this, you know. This thing's getting warm, buddy. Yeah. All right. But what I want to do is put it on safety. Yeah, that decocked it, right? Yes, sir. I like that. I'm going to put it on safety, and I'm going to try to hit the gong, okay? All right. All right. Greg, come on over here, buddy. All right. There we go. It's got a good trigger, doesn't it? Jason, you want to try it? No, go. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I can hit the gong. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can or not. <laughs> In double action or single action? Oh, yeah. no. I... All right, let's see. Here we go. go ahead. Yeah. That was beginner's luck. I don't know. I think it's the gun, you know? You see all those amazing shots on TV. I mean, yeah. I mean, it replaced the 1911, you know? So it's got to be. And that, uh, careful now. <laughs> careful now. Nothing could ever replace the 1911. I don't know. Nah. You're right. It can't. I mean, you know, let's just put them up side by side, they tell you, you know? Well, come on now. Which one would you want to go out with? Yeah. Yeah. But they're both pretty guns. Maybe Pistols. that's the cool guy gun. I don't know, buddy. I like this. What? 1911 is pretty heavy. This would be a good carry gun, though, actually. Sure, winter carry. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So, let's go back to the table a minute. And uh, you don't, you got really lucky down there. Yeah, it's very lucky. It was somebody, we had somebody down there hitting this, you know, the ball peen hammer against the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've probably done that before, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go to the table. All right, here we are back at the table. And guys, this video is brought to you by absolutely no one except maybe Aro's Barbecue in Gastonia, North Carolina. So if you want some pork and that, some what's in the cup? Diet Sundrop. Yeah. That's, that's uh, a favorite of us. Carolinians, right? Yes, you're not going to get Diet Sundrop much, you know, more than 100 miles out of here. It's pretty magical stuff. It's fruit of the gods. Yes, That's what it is. It really is. It's magical. Yes, sir. And so is this sport. Man, I love shooting, don't you? Yes. Now that the weather's starting to cool down yeah, a little bit, we can we yeah. can do good. Okay, um, final thoughts on this, Jason? I think that, you know, it's you a... You want to final it a little, little bit you know, or something there? Love it or hate it, you know, it kind of has a place in everybody's collection you know uh -huh. I, I really did, i really did not didn't like it until uh shooting your uh walter p1 right you know so this is a uh successor to that firearm you know yep well that's cool anybody has anybody's got one right i guess so yeah i guess so all right it's like original tactical tactical well, we got some other stuff to shoot here, buddy. So I say we close this one out. Sounds good. All right, guys. Um, keep up to fight against uh, Walmart control. I mean, gun control and uh, liberal control. <laughs> uh, do everything you can to support uh, the Second Amendment and uh, just fight this gun control madness that's going on right now. Guys, if you like this video, please like, favor, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, let's see, what else, Jason? Want to say anything? No, I'm good. About anybody? <laughs> no, I'm good. You're good? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, guys. Remember, as always, big day to love you. Hoorah.